could sleep in a car. What you do is park it in the lot of the Days Inn, the one behind the Target next to the throughway. If it's raining and dark outside, that's even better, because who would come out and check the cars in the rain? The pillow that props you up because the seat adjuster is broken is really all you need to make a nice sleeping situation for yourself. Also, lucky for you, this is a Mercedes with soft leather seats. Now, try to remember if the windows are tinted because that would be lucky too. The worst thing would be if a family, drowsy and desperate, parks right next to you and the dad carries a toddler out of her car seat she picks her head up from his shoulder and then stares into the window of your car and sees a lump on the seat. And she stares and points, Daddy, what's that? So the father will need to answer, or else the baby will fixate and then won't go back to sleep, and for God's sake, it's 3 a.m. So he glances, but then the image coalesces, and this time he sees that it's not a jumble of clothes, but a lady. With her head on a gray cushion and her hand glowing white, peeking out from the pile of jacket and hair and pillow. He might knock on the window, hey, are you okay? You will awaken immediately and rearrange your features. You are calm as the sea. Yes, everything is fine. You send out normal sea vibes to soothe the man. You are tired. The rain is noisy, the car is chilly, and you are tired. So you decide that the windows are tinted. You throw the pillow into the back seat and climb over the center cubby, barely closed over crumpled receipts and chewing gum packets. He buys those packets by the box because he has an oral fixation, and if he is not constantly chewing gum, he will chew food, and not vegetables either. Your phone is on silent because his texting is disturbing you. It is a great idea to put the phone on silent until the sun comes up and you are not so tired. You put the pillow up against the door handle and you pull your rain jacket over your face because your pale skin is a beacon in the night and as carefully explained above, you do not need anyone knocking and disturbing your rest. By this time, you have about 10 texts from him, but it's fine since you have the phone on silent. But you worry because what if he is so worried that he dials 911 and then he gives them your jacket or headband to smell and then they find you? How embarrassing. Then, for sure, everyone will know that you are insane. So you text back something neutral like, I am fine, just want to sleep, call you later. This does not calm him. The texts are coming fast. Where are you? Where are you? When you were 18, you were sure that the future was in a loft somewhere in Gowanus, living and sleeping in a studio that smelled like paint. The bathroom down the hall would be for boys and girls, and everyone would be poor and have the radio on all the time. You would be a bit of a bum, which is okay because you don't need to shower that much and you're fine with one meal a day. What you ended up with instead was a night in a car behind the Days Inn. Your face smashed into a couch cushion, clutching your phone so close to your mouth that the screen is damp, reading his texts, waiting impatiently for the next one to appear. <laughs>